Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty Asoktis, with another tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get Battlefield, Battlefield 1942 working on Windows 11. And believe it or not, I had the Secret Weapons of World War II expansion for this game. And this, of course, that I had the standalone copy of that. And and I don't I don't have it anymore unfortunately, but I used to have it, and I and I and I used to I bought it even though I did not own the this game, I bought it, I, and no joke I how I was able to play Secret Weapons in World War Two was that I sailed the high seas R. And and that was how I played the expansion. Well, now now nowadays, well later on, I bought this copy of the game, which included this edition of the game, which included the secret secret weapons of World War Two, and um, and um, World Rome expansion. But without a further ado, let's just jump into this. And this, this game, and including Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, in a case that obviously was not, was not, in a case that was obviously not taken from a, uh, from a, um, from a, um, corporate, um, environment that, that helped a certain fast food chain. <laughs> of course, my copy of Medal of Honor Allied Assault came in the, um, in this, the Medal of Honor 10th Anniversary, which I don't have a spindle case for it anymore because I just got sick of the spindle. But, but this, and this, and this, of course, make up the classic World War II trifecta. I I even I even I even bought Battlefield Two, so without which which was such an amazing game, which one of the most amazing things about Battlefield Two is it came on a DVD before Steam. And I just Sometimes I dream about cheese. I, I I just think 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 it was amazing. So let's So let's um so without further ado let's continue to um and I should have it in here. I'm I have the ISOs downloaded for it. Yes, I did download it. You got Medal of Honor in here. Battlefield 2. I think I have Battlefield. I don't have Battlefield 2. I bet you the mods are out of date. And that. But here I'm going to install. So now we got. And this is an old, this is such an old game that and we should we and we install Punk Buster and we're not going to be using it and we can install the and I'm going to not install it to an x86 folder. I'm going to install it to its uh, own folder because this is Windows uh, 11, and you learn this when you used to learn this when you installed these older games on Windows Vista. You know, you used to learn this old this trick. I'm so used to this. 
doing this on as far back as Vista that that I am um, that I am um, just do it like this so install it to that I'm not gonna let you see my key in fact I'm gonna pull my key out and just just pull it out and by the way that this collection also came with with Battlefield Vietnam This uh, Battlefield 1942 complete collection came in Vietnam. Pretty underrated game, in my opinion. For, pretty interesting. So it's um. So I'm gonna type in my key, and we'll be done. And then we'll just continue with the setup. And of course, the game requires DirectX 8.1. Of course, of course, the game requires DirectX 8.1. And so, you don't need to install that one. And, uh, yeah, this game did require direct, uh, GameSpy Arcade. But we're not going to be installing that because that piece of software is useless. It's no longer useful. But we will install Battlefield 1942. And I'm installing the complete collection release. Which you can obviously see that I've got Battlefield Vietnam in here as well. And I will upload these to archive.org at some point. Because I would like to see these archived. What? Of course it's got the crack on it. I've got the patches anyway. I will probably apply the crack to it. And he's got cracks on them, so... You know. So let's go to, um... IJ. Well, let's do that. And load the room. What the hell? Which, yet again, no, 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 naughty, naughty, naughty. And so now it's installing the game. So let's uh, insert secret weapons in World War II disc. Since so installing the game, so now we got Secret Weapons World War II installed on here, which is a really cool expansion with a bunch of experimental vehicle vehicles.
And I thought, why not install a battlecraft? Okay, whatever. Let's change this to that folder directory rather here. Battlecraft 1942. Yes. We'll install it there. Which I think this, this I think is the map editor for the game. But it'll be cool. You look at guides. I did not know this had 64-bit support. Like, that is really interesting. Install Battle... the yeah, Source Kit. Probably not up to date. You like a shortcut? Yep. Registered. So now we got the game installed. And now we need to patch the game. Now I happen to have the patches from years of having archived this stuff a long time ago. And Battlefield in Vietnam. Full. But that is how long I've had these patches. That is how old these are. Yeah. Update it. And then we have the incremental updates. And I will be backing these updates up on the internet. Install correctly and let's Check to see one point six point nineteen, one point six to one point six point nineteen. Of course, I found the uh, of course, I had to double check to find out what the exact patch was, I forgot. And so now we know where the path is. Let's go to here. Yeah, these are like pre-Vista games, so it has those problems. So let's read, um, you read me I will link to the uh, patch to the official patches this is the punk buster update for battlefield 1942 
And yeah, you have to have the latest patch. And I would always recommend sewing the latest patches. So we're going to go here. Don't even know if it updated. I don't really care for that. But the files have been somewhat up copied in here. But here's another patch we're going to have to install. The windows will complain. Your antivirus may go, This file is sus! This looks sus! But don't worry, it's not a, um... But this actually adds, um... This actually adds widescreen support, so now... So now we can uh, probably load the game. I'm going to do that and see if I can run it. So now we have widescreen support. And it's no CD cracked. Yes. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll take a look at the intro. Start the game. And we'll have to add this game to the final. But we'll have to add the game to the firewall.
guess the game also supports EAX, if I remember correctly. Actually, yeah, it does have EAX. Which we'll have to, I'll have to play around with that. So let's just load the game. And, um... EA Games. Challenge everything. But I think this game has EAX support. In fact, it does have EAX support. But before we can do anything in the game, let's um, configure it with our, our firewall. Seems like our firewall went down. Or it disappeared somewhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to my settings here. Firewall. We're going to add TCP or UDP out. We're going to do TCP out. And we're going to add, we're going to go where we have it installed on our hard drive.
Electronic farts. 1940 BF 1942. So we're going to add it to here. We can add it to the HPPS if it isn't already added in there. So we're going to go back to the firewall and we're going to make sure it's set for custom rule set. Go to containment or rather file listing. That was on recognize, so so I'm probably going to want to re re rerun the patch again. So that way it installs all the proper files. I want to make sure it is already installed proper like if you got a firewall it's gonna complain so now we have battlefield 1942 all patched and ready There we go. I don't want to make sure it's all configured. Settings in here. HPPS rules, file rating, and all that is working. So let's run the game. EA Games. Challenge everything. By Game Spy, of course, Game Spy is defunct. There's not really that many. Oh, it's mostly Linux servers. Wow. Like, I'm surprised by that. So let's just create a game. We can't find more than that. Let's just create a
Unfortunately, it's the assault. It's been a while since I've played this game. STG44. Let's not you pick a scout medic engineer. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Ooh, the JU eighty eight.
that vehicle. Let's see if we can find another vehicle. Another JU88. The Junkers. Or Yunkers. BF109. video of me trying to get Battlefield 1942 working on Windows 11. I'll post the links to relevant downloads of where to get the game and the patches. Till next time, peace out.